the way that we start plants for aquaponics is really think about it exactly the way you would your dirt garden. Um, you can start from seed in, in um, you know, containers using a, a seed starting mix. We tend to also like to use these plugs. This is a plug that's uh, called a rapid rooter plug, or it's, it's got all sorts of, of uh, different names. But it's actually, uh, this one, this particular one is peat-based. There's also coconut fiber-based and a little bit of natural latex and some other things. But it is a soil-less way to start the plants. What that means is that whenever I'm transplanting a seedling that's being started in soil, I always want to kind of rinse off that soil so I don't add a lot of soil to my hydroponic growing bed. But if I start in one of these plugs, I can just take it straight out of the container and just plant it right in my bed. And there you go, I just planted that plant. It also allows me to make it really easy to transfer the plants around. The other thing that I want to mention is about insect control. Uh, if you are growing plants, especially indoors, no matter how careful you are, the insects will find you. Count on it. Have a plan for how you're going to deal with them. And be constantly vigilant about checking for insects. Insects tend to love to be on the underside of leaves and in sort of leaf junctures where the leaf actually meets the stem of the plant. Um, indoor insects tend to be things like thrip and aphids and whitefly uh, and spider mites. Those are the big four that we see. Insect control in an aquaponic system can be kind of challenging. We have to be even more stringent than typical organic standards because we can't be using anything that's going to harm our fish. So when you select a, um, an insect control product, really research it and make sure that it's going to be okay. Uh, some of the things that we'll typically use is anything that, that's sort of a bacteria-based product. Um, we'll use insecticidal soap. Uh, we'll use some uh, horticultural oils. You just want to make very sure you don't overspray the tanks and get an oil slick on your water. That could, could really affect the oxygen exchange in your water. Um, but those are some of the things that we, we will typically use. Another thing that you can use, and we certainly do here, is beneficial insect control. So you can buy good bugs that'll go after the bad bugs. Uh, and that's certainly a way to go. So those are some of the hints about plants. Probably the last thing that I want to say is just once again mentioning lighting. If you are growing indoors, make sure that you've got sufficient grow lighting for your plants. If you don't, then you're going to see your plants do what's called stretching, and they'll seem to be really leaning towards whatever source of light they can find. That's a really unhealthy situation for the plants. You won't get nearly the productivity that you do if you have good lights, or if you're growing in a greenhouse, then you're probably fine.